Hey there, today our presentation is on the topic of large commercial aircrafts with the study area of materials and structures. First off, I would like to start with the introduction. So what's the significance of large commercial aircraft materials and structures? So large commercial aircraft materials and structures play a crucial role in the pursuit of sustainability within the aviation industry. As the world grapples with the environmental challenges posed by increasing air travel, there is a growing imperative to make aircraft more sustainable. This involves not only improving fuel efficiency and reducing emissions, but also addressing the materials and structure components used in aircraft design and manufacturing. Some of the structures that can be improved are structures such as morphing structures, composites, and in the integration of metal materials. So how is it all linked to sustainability? The sustainability of large commercial aircraft is a multifaceted issue encompassing various aspects such as reducing the environmental footprint, enhancing operational efficiency, and extending the lifespan of an aircraft. This sustainability imperative has led to a re-evaluation of the materials and structures employed in aircraft design and construction. Key considerations including minimizing the environmental impact of manufacturing, reducing weight to enhance fuel efficiency, and improving overall aircraft du durability. This introduction will explore how advancements in materials and structural designs are contributing to the sustainability in the large commercial aircraft industry. We will dive into the use of lightweight and eco-friendly materials, innovative structural designs, and the incorporation of metal materials into the industry. Furthermore, we will examine the challenges and opportunities associated with these efforts, all in the context of the global aviation industry working towards a more sustainable future. Next, we have the impacts on aviation sustainability. With how the world is sitting at the moment, 2-3% of global warming is directly the cause of aviation. Sustainable aviation separates itself into three main spheres, environmental, economic, and social. The weighting of the impacts is judged within these categories. Three major commitments to reduce net CO2 emissions are known technology, operations and infrastructure measures, economic measures, biofuels and additional new gen technologies. The aircraft pillar is one of the three pillars in sustainable aviation. It aims to design aircrafts to be more efficient and aerodynamic through the five pillars of aircraft design and operations. The strategy area of today's presentation, being structural mechanics and materials, will have us explore the topic of how large commercial aircrafts play a role in aviation sustainability, both positively and negatively. The positive impacts large commercial aircrafts have on sustainable aviation compounds with the major role that aircrafts as a whole, from every sector, have in the aviation industry. Some of these positive impacts include, and are not limited to, investment in sustainable technologies, operational efficiencies, reduced emissions and fuel efficiency. Although positive impacts are present, aircrafts are still having a negative impact on aviation sustainability as part of their day-to-day -day operations. Namely, these negative impacts are described as noise pollution, weather and climate effects, greenhouse gas emissions, as well as finite resource consumption. Needing to meet the demand for air travel by large commercial transport aircrafts has allowed for further investment in sustainable technologies such as advanced aircraft configurations, material composites, engine innovations, and open rotor engine designs, only to name a few. From the table, it shows how specific technologies have multiple positive impacts too, emphasizing how investing in sustainable technologies has a huge weighting when it comes to sustainable aviation. As depicted by ICAO, the demand of air transport is increasing on an average of 4.3% per annum. By 2036, it can be expected that the air transport industry will contribute $1.5 trillion of GDP to the world economy and $15.5 million in direct jobs. Investing in sustainable technologies provides jobs, improves emissions, and our standard of living. This creates an opportunity for us to better manage our natural resources, provide economic growth through more direct job opportunities, and increase our social welfare by improving our standard of living. Increase in aircraft traffic from international and domestic flights has led to an increase in public exposure to noise. This is particularly obvious in tourist hotspots. From the figure, you can see just how much traffic occurs all over Europe in this time of year. This large density of aircrafts produces large volume of noise pollution, disrupting the standard of living for the citizens. 
Environmental impacts are also caused by contrails and sewer supply formations from large commercial aircraft. Contrails are formed from engine exhaust condensation, freezing up at the high altitudes that large commercial aircraft often fly at. Over time, they become indistinguishable from cirrus clouds. Contrails radiative forcing attribute to cooling and heating, as it reflects sunlight and emits most heat back to Earth, respectively, contributing to global warming. Greenhouse gas emissions and finite resource consumption have also been a large part of the negative impacts that large commercial aircraft have contributed. This is due to the domination of a finite resource, jet kerosene in the aviation industry. Sustainable aviation fuels account for less than 0.1% of aviation fuel consumed. It is why research and implementation of sustainable aviation fuels and programs such as Corsia are able to have such a large contribution of measure for reducing international emissions. While large commercial transport aircrafts have made steps towards improving aviation sustainability, with the growth of air travel, challenges still remain. Uncertainty poses a large challenge for both creating environmental models and projecting growth within the industry. For long-term environmental goals to be achieved, operational improvements and technological advances are fundamental, and efforts to mitigate emissions must be further implemented and constantly monitored. Next is advances in the state-of-the-art technologies. For the state-of-the-art technology includes additive manufacturing, which is the techniques uh, used in the production of aircraft components, which includes 3D printing al allowed for complex and lightweight structures, reducing manufacturing waste lead times. Next is advanced composite materials. So aircraft manufacturers continue to utilize advanced composite materials such as carbon fiber reinforced composites to reduce weight and improve fuel efficiency. These materials offer a high strength to weight ratio, corrosion resistance, and increased design flexibility. Next is lightweight structural components. Lightweight structural components is the use of advanced aluminum alloys and titanium continue to be integral to aircraft design. These materials offer strength and durability while minimizing weight. Aerodynamic improvements. Engineers were continuing refining aircraft shapes and surfaces to optimize aerodynamics, reducing drag and improving fuel efficiency. Integrated full slash design. The integrated full slash design explores the innovative ways to design and manufacture fuel slash sections as integrated structures rather than traditional assemblies of individual panels and frames. This approach can reduce weight and manufacturing complexity. Advanced joining techniques. Innovative joining methods including friction stir building and adhesive bonding were being employed to ensemble aircraft structures. These techniques offer stru structural advantages in terms of weight reduction and structural integrity. Advanced wing design. In the advanced wing designs, it focuses on the innovation of the development of advanced aerodynamic shapes, winglets, and adaptive wing concepts that optimize performance across different flight phases. These designs aim to enhance lift, reduce drag, and improve fuel efficiency. Next is sustainability and recycling. Aircraft manufacturers explore sustainable materials and recycling methods to reduce the envi environmental impact of aircraft production and end-of-life disposal. Let's start with morphing structures. What are morphing structures? So morphing structures can include structures such as variable camber wings, winglets, adaptive wing structures, and active noise controls. These structures allow for adjustments of the curvature of the wings or trailing edge by changing the cambers, the shape of the winglets, the shape of the wings, or the shape of the inlet of the engine to achieve a result in improving the performance and reduce the fuel efficiency in reduce the fuel emission of CO2 and reduce the carbon footprint left. For morphing structures of large commercial aircraft, there are currently no large commercial aircraft having morphing structures in use at the moment. However, simulations and testings are being done to prototypes to integrate into the large commercial aircraft. Large commercial aircraft morphing structures focus mainly focus on variable camber and adaptive wing structures. For the morphing structures, we will focus on the design of transonic wing with adaptive morphing trailing edge. As you can see on the bottom left figure, we can see that the trailing edge with the blue nodes are able to adapt and morph, ac morph according to flight conditions. So what is three-point stencil and seven-point stencil? 
three point sensor basically means flight condition with three conditions and seven point sensor has seven conditions these are the two cases that the simulation has been done for the morphing trailing edge next on this slide we can see what the morphing structure aims to minimize so it aims to minimize fuel burn with three point stencil and seven point stencil with morphing and without morphing we can see the comparison of each parameters along the flight and from the results of the morphing structures simulation we can see that the three point stencil reduced fuel burn by 2.53 percent and the seven point stencil reduced fuel burn by 5.04 percent the table below shows the fuel burn and wing mass of the three point stencil and seven point stencil conditions with morphing and without morphing <clears throat> we can see that in seven point stencil the fuel burn reduce reduction is more than three point stencil that is because there are more flight conditions that the structure can adapt to therefore reducing more fuel exploring composites these are the amalgamation of two or more uh, materials that have different properties and they are engineered together to achieve specific performance characteristics. They are mainly made of two parts. One is the matrix material which is the one which gives the structural integrity and is like a glue which holds the reinforcement fibers together and they are all covered by a protective layer. So based on the combination of matrix and reinforcement fibers, we have uh, uh, different composites which are available in aviation, uh, such as polymer matrix, metal matrix or intermetallic matrix or ceramic matrix composites, which as the name suggests are the different matrix components and the reinforcement components are generally silicon carbide or carbon fibers. Fiber reinforced ceramics are a blend of fibers which are embedded with ceramic matrix and the carbon fiber reinforced plastics which is the most commonly known one out there is the one which has carbon fibers which are reinforced into plastic as the matrix. There are many applications of the composite but focusing on one part of the plane such as the engine we can understand that metal matrix composites are 50% lesser in weight than normal metals and thus they can be used in the bulky sections of the engine such as the compressor. Ceramic matrix composites are highly temperature resistant so they can be used for turbine blades, combustor or exhaust nozzle. Fiber reinforced ceramics are highly uh, moldable in any complex shape and they can uh, resist oxidation. So they can be used for strata vanes, combustor or other such areas where oxidation occurs. Polymer matrix composites are currently used in the propulsion systems of GE F404 and for making lightweight aircraft wings. The carbon fiber reinforced polymers are used for major airframe sections for a lightweight design such as the Boeing Dreamliner. Collins in the UK have tried to replace metal fuel pipes with CFR. Another possible research direction would be towards manned materials. Although it needs to be further researched for large commercial transport aircraft application, it could be implemented in the future to address some sustainable challenges that we face. Metal materials are artificially engineered to have unique and diverse characteristics, depending on their composition. The main categories of metal materials that exist are electromagnetic, chiromechanical, and acoustic metamaterials. Electromagnetic metamaterials can manipulate electromagnetic waves. This is due to its refractive index having a negative value over certain frequencies. Some applications include electromagnetic coatings, superlensing, and antennas with improved performance. Chiral metamaterials manipulate optical characteristics, specifically affecting optical activity and ellipticity. The key characteristics of chiral metamaterials is how they interact with electromagnetic waves that exhibit circular dichroism. Potential applications can be related to sensing, communication, and optics. Mechanical metamaterials can exhibit negative Poisson ratios. They can also be altered to have specific thermal conductive properties. This allows them to be useful in applications such as shock absorption and as well as a heating element. Acoustic metamaterials can manipulate sound waves to exhibit zero or negative refractive indices for sound. This allows for the precise control of sound at sub-wavelength scales. Multifunctional metamaterials are composed of a mixture of different metamaterials. By doing so, this creates materials that can serve a multi-purpose function. 
As such, metamaterials in the topic of large commercial aircrafts have the potential to impact all three main spheres of sustainability, environmental, economical and social. Under the environmental sphere of aviation sustainability, we can try to minimise fuel consumption within a given airspace by increasing operational efficiency. One of many factors that impacts operational efficiency is turnaround time. Now, generally, turnaround time takes 30 minutes in Melbourne's Tullamarine Marine Airport. In colder and frosty conditions, this can be longer. If we can decrease turnaround time, we will be able to get more aircrafts out of holding stacks and radar vectoring delays that use up more fuel than necessary. A method of doing this is by improving our de-icing capabilities, allowing for aircrafts to take flight even faster. Current de-icing methods use heated propylene glycol, which produces chemical discharge into the environment. The fluid is projected with higher velocity force streams to de-ice the aircraft, posing both noise pollution and a risk factor for workers as indicated in the Canadian Training Manual TP10643E Section 2.2.5 Personal Safety. Having a direct correlation to the social sphere of sustainability, these loud noises impact the standard of living for surrounding residents. Aircraft de-icing fluids utilised at airports provide a large risk to the environment. From the 91 million litres of ADF that gets used annually, 36% of the discharge is untreated, and this does not even include chemicals used for runway de-icing either. To combat challenges with de-icing, we are proposing a theoretical approach with the application of thermal conducting metamaterial technology integrated with existing aircraft structures. This proposal is derived from NanoWeb technology and an existing study that integrated graphene heater paper with aeronautical composites. This study, performed by Vitushio et al., proved to melt one millimeter thick layer of ice in less than seven minutes and can work under low power consumption. However, if we're able to utilize thermal conducting and metamaterials it is possible to create an even more effective method of de-icing. Such thermal conducting metamaterials include META's NanoWeb patented technology. NanoWeb technology is a transparent conductive film that can be used on clear glass and plastics. Its grid technology provides thermal heat transfer at low power inputs and is currently used in the automotive industry as an energy efficient de-icing solution for windscreens and windows. If we were to apply this concept on an aircraft's composite wing and fuse a large structure, we can multitask and minimize turnaround time. Being able to develop a metamaterial like NanoWeb that can be integrated like flexible graphene heater paper would create a de-icing technology capable of replacing propylene glycol. The technology already performs better, as indicated on the right, and environmentally and is socially friendly. This would ultimately provide a solution to minimise turnaround time in countries where aircraft frosting is much larger of an issue and causes massive delays. Under the social sphere of sustainability, standard of living plays a huge role in sustaining the livability of our planet for future generations. By being able to improve in-flight services, we can provide a safe and comfortable environment for travellers and aircraft personnel. Metamaterials offer the potential to enhance the efficiency of water and air filtration. By controlling the path of light as it traverses through the water, it can help remove pollutants from the water, making it safer to drink. If this method was coupled with hydrogen fuel cells, there is potential for the system to utilise the water on board the aircraft. It will take further research to make the water byproduct consumable, however, we may be able to get the water to a suitable safety level for onboard bathroom services. Metamaterials can also be applied to air systems. When implemented as part of the process, Metamaterials can remove pollutants from the air by controlling the way air flows through the purifier. This makes it possible to remove more pollutants from the air. By providing cleaner air in flight on large commercial aircrafts, passengers are able to have a more comfortable and seamless experience, especially for longer flights. Being comfortable for passengers is attractive to airlines, a possible source of funding for research. Next are the benefits associated with advances we have all been talking so far. Benefits of morphing structures include fuel efficiency. Morphing structures such as variable camera wings and adaptive wing designs can optimize the aerodynamic performance of an aircraft during different flight phases. This can reduce the drag improved lift to drag ratios and ultimately lower fuel consumptions. The flexibility for sustainable aviation fuels. As the industry looks to transition to more sustainable aviation fuels, morphing structures can help optimize the aircraft's performance. Therefore, the adaptability can facilitate the integration of SAFs into the aviation industry. Compliance with emission 
regulations. Regulatory bodies such as the ICAO are continuously tightening emission standards for the aviation industry. Therefore, morphing structures can help and increase the string in environmental regulations. Depending on the choice of the matrix material and the reinforcement material, composites provide a variety of benefits. For example, the polymer matrix composite is very low in weight but has a lot of strength, meaning a high strength to weight ratio, and thus it gives characteristics such as stiffness and durability at a very low cost of manufacturing. Metal matrix composites or intermetallic matrix composites are highly wear resistant and have high thermal conductivity as well at a very low weight. Ceramic matrix composites are very uh, tolerant to heat and these properties can be tailored depending on the temperatures that they have to withstand. For example, without the need to cool the turbine blades, compressor bleed will no longer be required and higher temperatures can be achieved with the combustor if ceramic matrix composites are used. Fiber reinforced ceramics have very low density and they are moldable like they have metal like deformation behavior suitable for making complex structures such as the spatter veins as seen in the picture. They are also uh, resistant to oxidation and they can be used in the parts of the engine where oxidation occurs such as the bypass area. Carbon fiber reinforced plastics uh, have high fatigue and corrosion resistance and they provide a long life and they are used in many different uh, aircrafts currently. Many materials display characteristics that go beyond what standard materials typically demonstrate in everyday situations. Some major key benefits of using metal materials are the possibilities that it can provide. Being an unnatural resource that is developed, it can be created to suit the need of its users. At the moment, there are many different applications for metamaterials that are currently being researched. Energy storage, increasing turbine efficiency, and more efficient transmitting and signal receiving antennas. There have also been applications of metamaterials in the defense industry such as radar and thermal cloaking, or MET-AIR laser protection for pilots. Even though the current capabilities of metamaterials are theoretically endless, Many applications still need to undergo further research before implementation. With safety measure and policies put in place, many materials need to be able to suit rigorous standards whilst maintaining its benefits to fit into the industry. Unfortunately, our technology is not yet able to do that. And for the last part, we will be talking about the challenges associated with the Audi advances. Challenges of morphing structures include the complexity of design, the weight and balance, the aerodynamic considerations, the reliability and durability, the control and feedback system, the manufacturability, regulatory and certification challenges, cost and energy efficiency, maintenance and repairs. Talking about challenges in composites, finding sustainable and biologically sourced composites instead of using normal plastics and reinforcements is something that the aviation industry is trying to overcome. A lot more research and development is required to find recyclable biocomposites. For example, a 2018 case study from the EcoCompost project, they have tried to find recyclable biosourced epoxy instead of normal epoxy, which is used as a matrix material in composites. They are re-engineering that with carbon fibers uh, to manufacture empennage side panels with lightning strike protection. Like that, natural renewable resources such as the natural fibers of bamboo bark or agave biomass bioresins are currently being tested at the Airbus uh, facilities. Falling under composites, bioplastics instead of normal plastics like bioelastomers instead of normal elastomers which are uh, currently now being trying to make out of bamboo they could replace the sealants material which is used in wing, fuselage and door components of aircraft. Ceramic matrix composite research technology also uh, is at focus because uh, ceramics have to be structurally reliable and since they have a slight brittleness issue, they have to have composites which are reinforced with long and continuous fibers to overcome the brittleness issue. But overall, 
a biological uh, green composite is basically having bio based polymer matrix and natural fibers together just because it's bio based it's also not biodegradable which is also another issue but having these two uh, bio based uh, matrix and reinforcement components can make sure that the composite is at least green Major challenges that are associated with implementing metal materials are the high development costs they bring, manufacturability of the material, durability and reliability, public perception, as well as competition. Research development and testing of metal materials can be expensive. Aerospace companies often require extensive financial investments to explore and integrate these materials into their designs, leading to large development costs. Manufacturing materials on a large commercial transport aircraft scale with precision is technically challenging, especially when maintaining reliability and consistency throughout. Metal materials are also relatively new to the spotlight in terms of being an alternative solution for aviation sustainability. As such, it would be subject to scrutiny by the public, and trust would need to be built before it can be majorly implemented into the industry. There is also strong competition with advanced composites which have been heavily implemented. To compete, metamaterials would either need to outperform the competition or be able to provide a quality that other competitors cannot match up to. Industry partnerships would also be a great way to provide funding towards the development costs of metamaterials for large commercial aviation. This would also provide a perfect platform to gain trust for the public in 2017, for instance, MTI partnered with Airbus to test Meta Air technology, with reporter KCQ stating in financial posts that MTI struggled keeping up with demand, leading to a production deficit. And lastly, the conclusion. To sum up, number one, path to sustainable aviation. The journey towards sustainable aviation is illuminated by a commitment to innovation and environmental responsibility. Advanced materials like morphing structures, composites and metamaterials are pivotal in this transition. These materials offer the potential to enhance fuel efficiency, reduce emissions and provide adaptability to the evolving aviation landscape. 2. Balancing challenges and opportunities. Achieving sustainable aviation requires a careful balance between addressing challenges and seizing opportunities. Challenges including design complexity, regularity and compliance, and manufacturing hurdles must be met with innovative solutions, some of which are found in advanced materials. These materials create opportunities to reduce environmental impact while enhancing operational efficiency. 3. A global responsibility. Sustainability in aviation is not merely a regional or industry specific concern, it's a global responsibility. With 2 to 3 percent of global warming attributed to aviation, the industry must take an active role in combating climate change. The adoption of sustainable technologies and practices, often rooted in advanced materials, reflects the industry's commitment to a healthier planet. 4. Collaboration for success. Success in the pursuit of sustainable aviation necessitates collaboration. Airlines, manufacturers, governments, and research institutes must work together to concert to drive innovation, particularly in the development and utilization of advanced materials. Research and development efforts, the sharing of best practices, and the establishment of common standards are essential to achieve industry's sustainable goals. 5. A promising future. In conclusion, the promising future of sustainable aviation lies ahead. With the collective efforts of stakeholders worldwide, we are confident that the aviation industry will continue to evolve. Ongoing research, the development of advanced materials, and a shared commitment to environmental responsibility will propel aviation towards a more sustainable, efficient, and eco-friendly future. Thank you for listening and have a good day.